Being able to quickly name thirds is an important ability when studying music theory. It is a prerequisite to being able to name different types of triads and other chords. You must first be fluent in knowing the names of the lines and spaces of the music staff. Preferably, you can do this in several different clefs. One way to stack thirds is to think of a scale and then name every other pitch starting with the first. A faster way is to think of the music staff and simply name lines or spaces depending on your starting pitch. For example, if your starting note is on the line G, the next two lines are each a third above that, B and D. If you are starting on the space C, the next two spaces are each a third above that, E and G. If we are thinking of these notes in terms of root position triads, the lowest note is called the root, the middle note is called the third, and the top note is called the fifth. Here is a note on the line E. The next third up would be on the line G, and the next note, a fifth above E, would be the line B. You can also use this technique to quickly name a fifth above a given pitch. Simply go up two lines or spaces and omit the third in the middle. Here is a note on the space F. Visualize the staff and ask yourself what is the next space, and then the space above that. Your answer should be a fifth above F, C. In later videos, we will learn how to appropriately add accidentals to make triads major, minor, diminished, and augmented. <laughs>